Let me climbing hook to something. Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Old Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 7 of my Ark Aberration DLC Let's Play series. Sorry for the voice crack. I have been a very busy boy. Uh, I have collected 190 metal totals, so, like metal ingots totals, so like 300 metal and stuff just from the rocks that were on the beach out here. Like I cleared out all these rocks and everything from along here. I didn't start down there, but I cleared out all these guys and everything. So, now that is a lot of metal. I was making a shitload of cementing paste with all the stone that I had left over and all the chitin that I got, er like, in the first or second episode. So, I've just been making cementing paste. Um, I do have all my engrams unlocked at the moment, and that's simply because I could not learn the long neck rifle. It would not let me learn this one. It would let me learn this one. So, I, maybe I'm going to get rid of the advanced smithy mod and see if that fixes that before the next episode, so I can, like, not have all my engrams unlocked that I don't deserve to have unlocked yet, you know what I mean? Uh, but, I did want to look at the binoculars from Boutique's mod. Boutique's binoculars mod. Uh, we just need crystal, metal, and polymer. We have polymer in here still. Yep. Uh, we have a little bit of crystal in here. Yep. And we have the metal in here. Let's just grab like five of it. And then let's put in binoculars and boom. Fuck spy glasses, use this shit. I know some people want a raw vanilla uh, aberration series, I'd imagine, but come on. Some of these mods are like actually really nice to have. Look at this shit. You can zoom in on stuff. Like that's the most, that's one of the nicest things is like we can zoom and look around. Now I wonder, okay, if you hide the HUD, it doesn't actually hide the Spyglasses HUD, which it would have been cool if it did for screenshot purposes. Like, there's no dinos around here, though. What is this? Stone, wood. I keep thinking something really nice is going to pop out of there. Like, obsidian apparently is pretty hard to get, so it'd probably be good to get any obsidian that comes out of the ground. Your footsteps are so loud. So we got a level 40 Spino over there. A lot of torpor in that, you'd have to get it up. Get a lot of torpor on it though to be able to do anything with that. Uh, let's go Gamma 3. Okay. Hopefully it's not too bright in here for everybody, like it's not stupid. Uh, I started making all my stuff again. I did make a bunch of narcotic, which I put in here, I believe. So now I should be able to make the long neck rifle. Um, I just need the metal. 95 metal for that. Fuck me. I forgot how expensive it was. My god, that's like half the metal I collected just for this long neck rifle. God damn. Okay. Um, and then we want Trank. Which means we need to make simple rifle ammo, which means we need gunpowder. Oh my god. It's gunpowder again. Charcoal. I don't have a ton of it. I've only got like 84 charcoal. Hmm. I don't really want to stick with arrows because the trank darts are just so much better. It's going to make a whole 84 gunpowder. Hmm. Which is going to make how many rifle ammo? Like, 10? Fuck. Um, right, that's a bit of a problem. We may have to set up, like, a way to, uh... We have to set up a way to get charcoal faster. That's ridiculous. Like, that's fucking nothing. We're not going to be able to make anything. We've made the Trank gun, like the long neck rifle, essentially for nothing. Because I cannot afford enough of the Trank darts. Like, arrows are just way cheaper. Alright, guys and girls, I've got all my Tranks made. Now, I wanted to show off these climbing picks that you can use. So, you basically just left click and then this green uh, little thing comes up that shows you where you can grip to. You can go sideways as well. 
And when it shines blue, it means it can shove you up onto land. And you should be able to, like, grip with your feet. You can grip at any time. The thing is, if you jump off and grab on like that, it uses a lot more durability on the, the climbing axe itself. So you may want to make a few of these and have them in your inventory and have them on your hotbar. If one of them gets too low and breaks, you will not have, it won't auto swap and you probably won't have time to grab onto the wall again if you have to open your inventory to put another one on your hotbar. So have a couple on your hotbar. I would recommend, especially for really tall climbs like some of the ones we may attempt. Um, but I really want to get to the, back to the area from last episode because that was the shit. But for that, I probably really need to have a Ravager to do it again. Um, because that's like, it seems like the best dino for trying to get over there. It's pretty decently quick. It can jump. Uh, it can zip line. Like, it's probably the most suitable dino to try and take on a trip like that. For now, at least early game. We've got a raptor in front of us. I'm thinking about grabbing it. He's trying to. He's probably going to be really fast, though, so I have to move my ass and try and get up on something that he can't reach. Okay. Alright, he's going to wobble back and forth. That's fine. A level 100 raptor may not be too bad for the job that we want to do here. All right, he went down. Okay. Now, we need prime meat. So, I think... I should be able to sneak back up here. There is a Kano down there. I don't think this guy will lose Torpor that fast anyway. Like, I don't think we're going to have to give him anything. Any stims at all. Oh, it's going to hurt. No. Perfect fall. So I'm going to come down here. Uh, this one's going to hurt for sure. No. Nope. Fucking awesome. Yeah, I'm going to come down here and we're going to grab some prime meat out of the house. Because I know I've got some in the fridges in there. Oh, we got it. We got it. With only one prime. Nice. All right, follow me, boy. Um, I'll lead you down the safest way possible without potentially killing you, I hope. Yeah, gently, gently, fall on me. Okay. Good stuff. We have to get a saddle for this guy. Alright, I love the look of the raptors in this. Look at that. That is a beaut. That is an absolute beaut of a raptor. That is good stuff. Okay. Now, I know you guys and girls want to see more of the map, and unfortunately it's hard with the limited amount of time and episodes I have. But I will try to show off more stuff every episode. And it unfortunately, early game arc is a learning process. How much damage did you take? None, it looks like. I did. I took damage. I will take damage here too. Alright, awesome. Uh, still got shit everywhere. Do I have any meat cooked? That would have been great. I do have these that I could eat. They will restore food, but it'll also give me that... What, what fucking debuff is it? Oh, it's poison immunity. Okay. I thought it gave me a debuff for some reason. Let's just have that, and let's get this raptor saddle made. Raptor. Now, is S plus working? It is working. Fucking great. Oh, here we go. Saddle on you, guy. No, that goes in there. Can you give me that two prime that will spoil in the time it takes for me to get anything done anyway? What happened to my tooltips? That's cooked meat, oil, and spark powder. Okay. Alright. You've got level ups already, buddy. So what do we end up with? 1037 health, 450 stam. 187 weight, 324.2 melee damage, and 151.2 movement speed. It is very hard and rough, the fact that, like, the Ravager has such high weight for its size. is one of the best things about it, so you can end up, like, going out on a trip and carrying a lot back. Oh, sorry, my chops. I'm sorry. I gotta level up. I gotta level up. Alright. I'm sorry. Dude, I'm gonna end up dropping, like 
half of the stuff I pick up because this guy can't carry fuck all. He's already over halfway full on weight and he's only carrying like some meat and hide. Also got to be careful because basilisks can be just chilling outside the, on the ground. Underground, should I say. I got to watch out for those assholes too. I don't even see... Oh look, there's a basilisk right there. One or level 40 basilisk. Oh shit. Seriously? Can't be after me, right? No way. Oh damn. Oh these these ravages are fucking these. What do we got here? Level 16 ravager. Oh fuck off. Dude, you look cool. I don't want to have to kill you, but I will. Come on. Ow, ow, all right, all right. Can I turn and hit you? Thank you. Fucking hell. The raptor fighting against another raptor is a fucking joke, dude. Come on. Oh, God, now I've got a Ravager on me. Oh, shit, it's a high level one. Oh, shit, it's a high level one. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Our Raptor's dead. Our Raptor's done for, dude. It's done for. It, it's done. It's dead. It, it's dead. It, it's done. Fuck. Fuck. There's three of them. Fuck. Fuck. I can't outrun this shit. Let me climbing hook to something. Will I survive the bleeding? Oh. Fucking hell. No, my my bulldog's my my bold dog's running away. I think it's mine. Uh so I suppose if I was to um try to pull out my crossbow, I would plummet to my death. But I'm also stuck up this tree unless they run away and get distracted, which they are. Go on, fuck off, fellas. You don't need to be here. It's all good now, guys. Trust me. Seriously, it's it's really... Go attack something else. Yeah, sweet. All right. How the fuck did I survive? Oh, no. Leave me alone. I wanted to get low enough to test that if I pull something out, that I'll just plummet to my death. I just wanted to test it. I'm shitting myself up here, see? I can't, I can't pull out... I can't pull out weapons in general. Okay. So it doesn't make me plummet to my death, it just won't allow me to do it at all. Run the fuck away! As fast as you can! Holy shit balls! This sucks. That really sucks. Man, I only just got that raptor. I'm so fucking mad. I wonder. Let's see where these ravages are. I wonder if they can get... If I can find a spot where they can't get up to me. By the way, the fog is real. That's the level 76. It's recovered all of its health. I've got to try it, right? If I'm able to even hit this thing, I'll be surprised. Dude, it's got a... Oh. I hit it. Is this a level 76? It is. It's what we want, dude. Oh. Don't be able to get up here, please. Okay. Here we go. Ow. It hit me, Charlie. Fuck. Please. Gotcha. One of them's got, like, fuck all torpor done to him. Oh, what? Wait, what? Where did I get hit from? Oh, no. Get knocked out, you fuck. Come on. 
Oh my god, he's starting to run away from Tall Paulos. Get him! Go down, you motherfucker. Go down. Three more arrows. Come on. Don't lead me into more of you guys. Good. Get stuck right there. No. Can't be missing him. Got him again. Please! Yes! You fucking piece of shit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta... We gotta be chill here. Is the other Ravager there? Alright, we're good. Okay, also something people wanted me to do is hide the sail on the boat. There you go. On the raft. So we've got that hidden now. We're gonna take the raft around. Uh, do I have, like, just raw meat on me? I don't even have raw meat on me. Okay. Uh, we'll grab some of that before we leave then. Last thing I want to do is go to get this guy tamed out. Unfortunately, I don't have enough prime for anything. Like, the prime that is in here is probably spoiled by now. Feed him. Eat the prime. Eat the fucking prime. Sweet. Okay, now we need to get out of here. Let's go. Apparently, I'm losing water at a rapid rate still. I don't know how long that's going to last, but that's fantastic. Okay. Can you get on my boat, man? I said on my boat, not uh, under it. Are you stuck now? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. A little bit more under the... On a little bit more under the... Uh, that's good. That's just fine. Alright. We're rocking and rolling. Don't fall off. We've got a very short trip to make and we're there. Alright, we're making another Ravager saddle. I'm so disappointed about that raptor, though. Like, that was a cool-looking raptor. Would have been really nice to have that raptor. Alright. Put this saddle on. So you started with 1120 health, 1120 stamina, uh, 690 weight, 177 melee damage, 189 movement speed. That's not bad at all. Your health, I believe, is lower than the original one we tamed, who had probably a, just a way better health stat than this guy. But regardless, let's actually... Don't follow me. Don't, don't, don't follow me. Don't, don't follow him. For fuck's sake. Don't follow me. Okay, so it's, it, oh, it's a girl. Okay, so this chick, like, not bad looking or anything like that. Stats are okay. But next episode, I think we're going to try and head all the way back over to... Uh, the blue mushroom light biome, whatever you'd want to call it, because our Ravager that is over there is still alive. It isn't dead. I've looked in the tribe manager and it's still alive. Anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Ark Aberration in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, poise. <laughs>